Hi guys, so today I will be sharing an easy recipe called Twisted Donut. For the bread dough, we need one packet of yeast, which is 8 grams or 2 and 1 for a teaspoon of yeast, 2 thirds cup of warm milk, 60 grams of melted butter, 1 fourth cup plus 1 tablespoon sugar, 1 teaspoon of salt, Three and a half cups of bread flour and two thirds cup of warm water. So to begin, we're going to get one tablespoon of sugar, add this to the two thirds cup of warm water, then add the yeast. Mix this and let it rest for about five to ten minutes or until the yeast is bubbly. So after five minutes, this is what the yeast looks like. We're ready to make the bread dough now. So in a stand mixer, or if you ha or if you don't have a stand mixer, you can use your hands to knead the dough. Combine the milk, butter, then the yeast. Combine the salt and the bread flour. Give it a mix. Then add this to the wet ingredients. Don't add the bread flour all at once. Check the consistency first. So start kneading. Once the bread flour is absorbed by the liquid ingredients, you can start adding the flour again. So once the flour is all in, continue I'm kneading this for about 8 to 10 minutes or until the dough is smooth and elastic. So this is about 8 minutes of kneading. This is now ready. As you can see, the dough is very smooth and elastic. So in a bowl, I have a little bit of vegetable oil. So form the dough into a ball, just like this. And then roll this with the oil. The oil is about half a tablespoon to one tablespoon of oil. Cover this with cling wrap and let it rest in a warm spot for about an hour or until it doubles in size. So the dough has now doubled in size. We're ready to divide the dough. So cut the dough in half. With each half, we're going to cut this into eight pieces. So this is about 70 grams a piece. So do the same procedure with the other half of the dough. And once you cut up all the dough, just form this into a ball. Shape the dough into balls. Cover this with cling wrap so it doesn't dry out while we're shaping the dough into a um, twisted donut. So get one piece of the dough. We're going to roll this starting in the middle into a string form. Making sure that you are rolling and distributing the dough equally about 10 to 12 inches long and once you reach the desired length hold one end and then start twisting the dough so until you feel tension and then just twist the dough just like this then make sure to seal the end of the dough One more time.
and this is what it looks like after being shaped now we're going to cover this with cling wrap and let it rest in a warm spot for 30 minutes While the dough is resting, we're going to prepare the sugar coating. So this is half a cup of sugar and then I have half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon is optional. Just mix the two ingredients in a Ziploc bag and then shake the bag. Set this aside. So after 30 minutes, we're ready to fry the donuts. So make sure that you got the right temperature of the oil. I'm using medium heat. So fry the donut or deep fry the donuts. This is about three cups of um, oil. Don't overcrowd the pan. So again, make sure that you seal the end of the dough um, or the donuts properly. As you can see, I didn't seal one properly. To turn this, it's best to use chopsticks. So once it's golden brown, it's done. It's also important to get the right temperature of the oil because if it's too hot, it will burn the donut easily. So once it's golden brown, you can take it out of the oil. And then continue cooking with the second batch. Meanwhile, with the cooked donuts, we're going to roll this into cinnamon sugar mixture. Just roll it in the bag of sugar. This is what it looks like. You have to work fast here and keeping an eye on the donuts that you're frying. Again, once the dough is golden brown, you can take it out of the oil. Be careful doing this. And this is the finished product you can twist it even more and even tighter my one is a little bit on the loose side but this actually tastes so good I can guarantee that you're going to love this so I hope you give this a try and just to show you what it looks like inside the donut when you bite into it it's really it's crunchy on the outside and it's really soft in the middle Thank you so much for watching and I hope you do like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you again next week. Bye!